hello amazing people welcome to my channel if you see my channel for the first time my name is Julia Rack and if you're my returning subscriber you are welcome you guys are all welcome thank you so much for your support and thank you for clicking on the link on my channel to see what is going on so today I'm going to be showing you how I made this a short pencil skirt with a side ruffle okay just as you as you are seeing this is what we're going to be recreating today so if this is something that you are interested on please keep on watching and um we're going to be start by making that in a minute so i'm going to give you a little tip of the future you need to know before we get starting okay you will need at least one and a quarter yard of ankara material if you're in a small size or depending length you want to go with for a bigger size, you need at least two or two and a half yard of Ankara, okay? So on the table, I have the material I'm going to be using, okay? My my zip to match the with the fabric, okay? This is very important, okay? You will need your zip and uh, this is the lining that you will need to line up your skirt to make it look more nice inside, okay? This is like two yard. I didn't use it all though. Yeah, and this is the Ankara material that I'm going to be using. And also, this is like about two and a half yard, but I didn't use it up to that. I use a uh, one and a quarter yard of Ankara. That is what I use. Okay, so here is my notebook that I save my measurement and my drawings. Okay, so this is the required measurement on the screen, as you can see. Okay, so I also did a little bit of sketching, <laughs> the rough sketch of the, the skirt so that you will know exactly what we are into. Okay, so take your measurement and be sure of the, your measurement then get your fabric and let's get started. So on the table, I have already uh, cut out my fabric. So I use my round hip circumference. Okay, my round hip circumference plus two inches stitching allowance that is the front piece and then the back piece i use my round circumference plus four inch because the back has a zip okay so let me take the measurement you see so i have 14 inches here for the width of my skirt that's the back uh, piece okay it's 14 inches in total so my hip i use a hip circumference on 40 divided by four is um 10 plus four inches all right since you're going to be using a lining to turn in your your fabric you need to add at least two inches uh stitching allowance okay it's very very important so the back is two inches bigger than the front so that is what you have here as you can see the front is 12 inches all right so the length of this fabric i did not i didn't know that i did not film this part it was 22 inches in total okay i'm not i will show you what i would let you know why i use 22 inches in a minute okay so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to create my starting point from my waist okay i'm going to place my my french cover label and then i'm going to create my starting point there so this Part here is going to become my waistline and uh, the next measurement i'm going to be taking is my from my waist to my hip line which is eight inches and as you can see i mark i place my tape two inches above before i take my measurement because of my waistband is going to be two inches okay so uh, i'm going to repeat the same measurement so i can have a straight line so what you're going to do make uh, know how many uh, inches is going to be your waistband so then place it above to take your measurements so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to place my tape back again to my waistline with two inches above then i take my skirt length my skirt length is going to be 18 inches so the total length for this fabric that i cut is 22 inches remember right so the remaining uh, four inches, I'm going to be using it to turn my lining. So if you want to have a clean finish from the inside, just like what you're seeing on the screen, yeah, you have to do this, follow this same step, okay? So right now, um, I'm going to draw out this line. 
and this line also is going to help me as a guideline let me extend this line out to the back okay yeah this is the back so i need to extend it out because i definitely need this line so i have done uh marking all my waistline my hip line and the skirt line so the next thing i'm going to start by imputing my horizontal measurement and this measurement is going to start from the cent the front line uh, uh, center front okay not the back okay so my waist is 27 divided by 4 is uh, 6.75 so i'm going to add one inch for my that allowance okay i'm also going to add additional two inches for joining allowance remember i told you when you are going to use line into turning you need to add at least two inches for your joining allowance okay so that is uh it there so move to my hip line i already take the exact measurement here so there is no need my marking 10 inches there the remaining one is going to be the joining allowance so i'm going to connect from the waist to the uh, end of the hip line okay so now this is the time where i need to work on the back the lower part okay i'm going to fold it like so so that i can be able to mark the the hemming or the bottom part of my skirt okay you have to fold it in, in like you just fold it just the way you see me doing before you start impute your the measurement from the lower part so right now whatever thing you have from your hip line okay i have 12 inches there you're going to minus one inch so that means i need to uh, place impute um like i need to mark 11 inches from the lower part of my skirt okay i'm going to start the measurement from this part where you see me placing my tape okay so don't mistakenly place it from the the back uh center back okay so you're going to place it for the center front just like the way i place it uh let me confirm the measurement okay it's not up to so i need to add additional one inch to this part to make it 11 inches so that means i minus one inch from the 12 inches from my hip line okay so now i'm going to start connecting all this marking okay i'm going to start connecting all this line please pay close attention to see where i'm going to be drawing out my lines okay so that you will not go and make mistake for your own so just like you see me doing like so okay i place my french cover like that don't make it too curvy okay so that when you are done you will not have that ear <laughs> on your skirt okay yeah that is basically it so i'm trying to make it smooth because i notice it has a pointed uh edges at that point so i have to use my free hand to make it smooth okay i hope you understand what i'm doing so move on to my front uh waistline i'm going to be dropping the waist with a uh, 0.5 inch allowance okay mark 0.5 inch allowance and you're going to drop it this apply to the front only okay not the back mark 0.5 inch and then you're going to i'm going to place my my ruler like you see me doing and then i'm going to connect it to me to the end of it like so okay so now moving on to the upper part okay i need to add additional 0 0.5 inch to join my skirt to the to the waistband okay so that is what i'm doing right now uh like i said earlier the the waist drop is only for the front not the back so i'm going to cut cut out the back first before i will work on the front okay so i'm cutting out all this part that cutting out all the excess so right now i'm going to trim off the the 0 0.5 that was supposed to take out from the front okay so that is what i'm doing right now so this is how i'm cutting it so yeah that is it now the front and the back piece is ready so this is how it's looking like right now if you follow the step that i show 
you should be able to have something looking like this okay so this is the front so this is my front piece okay so this is the right side and um, here is my back piece you know the back is two piece okay because we divide it because of the zip allowance so yeah this is this is it so i still need to maintain this fold because i need to or use it to cut out my lining okay so guys um from this foot now i'm going to mark how long my lining is going to be which is 11.5 inches i i'm having here but i'm not going to be cutting exactly uh 11.5 inches rather i'm going to be cutting 12.5 inches because i need to use 0 0.5 to join from the hemming part and also from the the waistband okay so i have gone ahead to cut out my lining of camera and uh, i cut out the both the front and the back pattern okay so uh, let me spread it and show you how it's looking like okay okay guys let me keep this aside so this is the front piece okay so uh let me i need to turn it to the right side okay this is the right side of my fabric and i'm going to find any part where i feel like is the wrong side of my lining so this is the um, place the right side to the fabric okay so from the hemming part of my uh, main piece and the hemming part of my lining i'm going to join them like that okay when i get to the machine i'm going to join them the hemming part to the hemming part together and then once i'm done i'm going to stitch the side together okay i'm going to stitch the side and then the weight is going to be left open okay so that aside so move on to the back just like i explained to the front okay the same thing also going to apply to the back okay so right now I'm on my sewing machine now. I'm going to start by joining my front piece. Okay, I'm going to start from the front. Just like I said earlier, you place the hemming part of the lining to the hemming part of the main fabric. Okay, the front is going to left open. I just pin it to secure that part. I'm not going to stitch it. It's only the hemming part and the side that I'm going to be stitched. Okay so i'm pinning it down so that i can be able to work with it freely so once i'm done pinning it i'm going to start by joining it with 0 0.5 inch allowance so where i'm working on is the hemming allowance okay so this is the back i have done with the front so this is the back so right now i have done stitch everything and also i have give this skirt these pieces a very good press as you can see everything is looking so nice and clean already even though we haven't finished you know so i stitch the hemming to the hemming together and also stitch the side and then i also stitch the other yeah both sides like that the same thing also apply to the front so once i done after stitching and then i bring it up from the waistline like i said earlier okay so this is the front let me keep that aside so this is the back okay i also did the same thing i did to the front i also did the same to the back all right so this is how they are looking like at the moment they all look so nice and clean you know if you follow this step you should be able to have something looking like this so um that's enough talking so i'm going to start my next thing now i'm going to start by imputing the the lining no sorry my the dots okay before i mark my dad i need to mark the allowance of my the, the zip allowance which is going to be 1.5 inches remember i add allowance of 2.2 uh, 2 inches right i used 0.5 uh, to join to join the the lining and the fabric so you remain uh, uh 1.5 so this is the 1.5 i'm taking out now 
so from that 1.5 mark i'm going to mark my bust pan which is 3.5 my bust pan divided by 2 is uh 3.5 my bust pan is 7 inches divided by 2 is 3.5 so i'm indicating this line here so i will know that this is where my zip is going to be and where my dart is going to be so the same thing i did to the back i also did it to the front but i did the front of camera so i'm marking where the front that is going to be here okay so once i'm done i'm going to place my tape there to mark four inches 4.5 inches below for my for the length of my dart okay find out how long you want the length of your dart to be mark it there okay so mine is going to be 4.5 and that is what i'm doing so once i'm done i'm going to fold it like you see me doing to create a crease line so that it will be easy for me to know where my my dart is going to be okay so my iron i can't use iron right now because there is no nipple light if i on the iron the inverter is going to go off so yeah so that's why i'm using my hand to create that crease line like you see so so that is one uh, uh, advantage i have with ankara this is why i like ankara Ankara is, is something that doesn't stress you. So I'm going to mark this line I did here is uh, 0 0.5 inch. Okay, you are going to connect it slightly, not straight. Okay, you're going to connect it to me to where you mark the dart length. And then you're going to pin it. Remember, I kept allowance of uh, 1 inch for that while I was drafting to the from the waist, right? Now I have taken out the 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 dart allowance, so that is what I'm doing. So I'm also going to fold it like that, and then I do the same like I did, like you see earlier. Okay, so the front is ready. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing to the back. So this is how it's looking like right now. It's not yet a uh, stitch. Okay. So the back, I have did the back also. So the next thing that we are going to do, we're going to head to the uh, sewing machine to start joining them, all right? See, the skirt is even looking, it's already coming out already, you know, even though I haven't stitched the dad. So this is how it's looking like. So I'm going to go to the machine now to join it there. The same thing also for the front uh, to the back piece i'm going to join them like you see me doing okay so i have done joining and i've also give it a very good press so yeah that is it so the next thing now we are going to do now i'm going to start by working on the front okay the front is the main uh is the main thing right now because we need to face the the ruffles to the front okay so okay guys let's work on the ruffles we are done with the front the front piece by arranging it making it look nice already right so it's time to work on the main thing like the beauty of the skirt <laughs> okay so i have gone ahead to cut out two long straps that's going to be working for the both side okay and the width of this pieces okay minus the fold is five inches so what it means is that i cut out the width of 5.5 inches and then i use 0 0.5 inch to fold in the one side of the 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 pieces okay the side that I did not fold is the part where I'm going to be making my loose stitch or make a make a garter. Okay, so let me confirm the the length of this the spaces that I cut. Okay. So this is uh eighty-eight point five inches that I have here. Okay. So I have uh Went to the iron uh, sewing machine. I have made my ruffles because while when I was working on this, I didn't know that my camera completely stopped recording. The problem I have is that my phone memory always keep uh, getting fuller easily. 
so that is why sometimes i don't remember i didn't know when my camera stopped okay so pardon me on this one i really wanted to show you guys what i supposed to do so i went to the sewing machine i i make a loose stitch so and then i made a gather okay so this is the gather that i made i made it to be exactly the length of the of my skirt okay so let me confirm the measurement the measurement here okay i just realized that it's too short than the length of my skirt so i need to uh, unloose it so i can adjust it to be the length of my skirt okay so once i'm done i'm going to fold in the rough edges okay fold in the rough edges twice and stitch it down okay fold in twice and then you're going to stitch okay just like you see what i'm showing okay so i have done done that so now moving on to the the back piece i need to mark basically i need to know how where the allowances that i need to join my my zip and the, the remaining one that i need to use to join my skirt together okay so i'm going to be marking this so that i will know how many inches remain from the side okay about three or something inches remain so now i'm going to minus my zip allowance which is 1.5 inch okay i'm going to be ma uh, marking my waist measurement which is uh 6.75 that is where my waist uh, is stopped so i'm going to place my tape uh, above uh 1.5 inch above okay to mark the hip length so there i will know how many inches i need to take my measurement like where i'm going to stitch okay 1.5 and from the waist from the hip line i'm going to be making use of one inch okay i'm going to be using one inch to join the side while for the from the the zipper part i'm going to be mic from the hip line i'm going to be making use of one inch okay 1.5 from the waist when you get to the hip line it's going to be one inch okay so that point is where my zip is going to stop okay my zip is going to stop at this point and then i'm going to stitch from that point to stop to where the lining stop okay so this lining now automatically has become the guideline for the length of my slit that is the back i'm talking about the back okay so the total length from where i'm going to be stitching from the side is going to be one inch then from the zipper part where it's going to stop it's going to be one inch okay as you can see i'm marking one inch from here okay take the measurement take confirm your hip measurement mark exactly your hip measurement whatever excess that remain use it to join your skirt okay so that is what i'm doing right now so the next thing i'm going to do um I'm trying to arrange it here so that i will know what to do so don't forget that your zip i'm going to make a loose stitch okay i'm not going to place it completely the main part i'm going to be focusing on is this point where i touch okay where the slit is going to stop okay and then the part where the zip is going to start from so moving on to the front so this is my front piece where i need to face my ruffles okay just like i did for the uh, back i'm going to do the same thing to the front okay i'm going to place my tip there i mark my 6.75 there and then the remaining one i'm going to be using it to join my 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 front piece and the back piece together okay so from the hip line i mark one inch from the hemming part i mark one inch but from the waist side i mark my waist measure uh, measurement as my round waist circumference divided by four which is 6.75 okay so i'm going to use my free hand to connect this part here okay the same thing i did from this side i'm going to do the same thing to the other side because at this point 
we're going to be facing this ruffle so everything has to be equal okay so yeah that is what i'm doing like i did from the the other side the same thing i'm going to be repeating here i'm going to use my free hand on this very one here so basically that is it for the front okay so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to uh get my my ruffles and then i'm going to start placing it there okay so at this point if you notice that the ruffle is too long okay because you already stitched it is better to be longer than is shorter okay so at this point while i was working on it i noticed that the ruffle was longer so i have to fold a uh, double fold it so before you start placing your ruffle you're going to mark 0 0.6 inches below okay i mark 0 0.6 inches below that is where i'm going to start by placing my ruffles i'm going to start placing it like this when i'm going to join it on the sewing machine i'm going to place it like this okay the right side facing the right side of my fabric the right side of the ruffle facing the right side of my fabric just like the way you see me demonstrating okay so i'm going to go to my sewing machine and i'm going to join it from this corner to down and the same thing going to apply to the other side of the ruffles okay so yeah so guys i have done join this okay i have done join it so this is how it's looking at like right now okay let me turn it to the right side so this is how it's looking like right now and um the next thing now i'm going to get my my back piece and i'm going to uh, place it to join to join it together okay so guys this is my back piece that i have already joined it okay so and i left the opening exactly from that part where the lining stopped like i said earlier okay i did a, a loose stitch from the upper part where the zip is going to be it's a temporary one i'm going to lose it anyway okay so at this point what i did to the front i also going to indicate it here for the back piece so that i will know where my stitching allowance is going to be so i have marked down the, the stitching allowance for the back uh, yeah so i'm going to place the right side facing the right side of my uh, front and back just like you see me doing okay make sure you match the you pin it down proper before you head to the machine to start joining it okay so while i was working on this i i in fact i lose the skirt like three times because i was joining and because of the ruffles was too much so i couldn't get it a uh, complete while i was stitching in fact the the thread the needle couldn't go direct to the line where it was supposed to be so what i did i started following the part where i see the bump okay so i started stitching it on top of the part where i uh, i felt the bump so that is what you should do okay don't follow the line that you mark because if you do it's going to get you messed up you're going to lose over lose and lose and lose okay just follow the part where the bump is and you're going to get your your skirt the front and the back pieces uh, stitched together okay so yeah i have done stitching them together this is how it's looking like right now can't you see it's really looking so cute you know so at this point what remains now is the band and the zip okay okay guys i'm going to be losing up the part where i stitched temporarily because of the zip okay so and it's going to stop exactly where my zip is going to be and the part where i stop stitch okay so right now i'm going to be taking the round width of the skirt so that i can know how many inches i need to cut out my band and the width of my band is going to be at least five inches without folding okay so yeah then the width of the band uh what i have here is 30.5 inches i'm going to be cutting 
31.5 inches so that i can use 0 0.5 to fold the edge of the band okay so unfold is 2.5 while without folding is 5 inch like i said okay i have gone ahead to join my my band to my skirt so the next thing now i'm going to be doing is to fix the zip allowance okay and once it's that done that will be it so thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something from this video if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please kindly subscribe and give this video a thumbs up help me share this video to reach out to people who may need it okay once again i appreciate you guys all for your support see you on my next swing tutorial bye